right guys, so you should see pages 378 and 379 in your slide presentation for today. Um, that's the slide you're on. So those are the pages you should be seeing. Um, we're gonna start reading our book, How Night Came From the Sea. Okay, so this um, you can see on page 378 is a myth. That's the genre that we're looking at right now. So do you guys know what a myth is without looking at the book? Can you tell me what a myth is? Okay, let's go ahead and read. It says, uh, myths are traditional stories that try to explain how things in nature came to be. So it explains how things around us work, right? Now, are these true stories or are they fake stories? Fiction or nonfiction? They are fiction, okay? This isn't really how night came to be, okay? It's going to explain this is how night came, but we know that this is not the way that it actually came. Okay, it's just kind of a little story to entertain us. And a lot of the times people um, in different cultures like to read these stories and kind of believe these stories. Okay, so let's continue reading. It says, think about how you would explain the cycle of day and night as you read the story. Okay, and we've talked about this cycle of day and night. The earth revolves and rotates around, um, so it rotates around, right, it spins around, and then it revolves around the sun. So we know that its rotation is what causes the day and night. And we've talked about that. I showed you guys the globe. We talked about that together. Okay, but this story is going to have a little bit of a loop to it. So maybe kind of compare and contrast, um, find differences and similarities as to your thinking of how night and day comes versus the stories, okay? Because it's going to be a lot different. So our story, again, this week is called How Night Came from the Sea. It's a story from Brazil, and it's retold by Mary Joanne Gerson, illustrated by Carla Gol. Okay, and our question of the week, how have people explained the pattern of night and day? Again, that rotation of the earth explains the pattern of night and day. Now remember, when the earth is facing the sun, that's when it's daytime, okay? Whenever the earth, that part of the earth can see the sun, that's when it's daytime. And then the nighttime comes from it facing away from the sun. So that's kind of our pattern of what we know of day and night, right? So again, keep that in mind as you're reading the story because this is going to explain something a lot different. Okay, so go ahead and go to the next slide and we will continue on reading.